in the first episode of the docuseries The Last Tsars, which details the end of the Romanov dynasty, there's a scene where the camera zeroes in on Tsar Nicholas II's arm, revealing, out of all things, a large and sizable dragon tattoo. Aspects of the far shot nearly make the spectator question whether the actor may have just forgotten to conceal the dragon on his right forearm. However, you'd be wrong. In reality, the Russian Emperor really did in fact have a dragon tattoo on his right forearm, and, relatively frequently, exhibited it in several photos by rolling up his right sleeve. But of course, it raises the question, why did Tsar Nicholas II have a dragon tattoo? And of course, to answer that, we must begin while on tour in Japan. A young Nicholas, the heir to the Russian throne, embarked on a tour in 1890 to learn about other cultures and meet other people in an effort to advance his education and get ready to succeed his father as Tsar. On the Imperial Russian cruiser, Payanmat Azova, or to watch English speakers' memory of Azov, Nicholas set off for a nine-month trip to the Far East. His itinerary took him via Austria-Hungary, Greece, Egypt, India, Ceylon, Singapore, Siam, China, and Japan, with the total distance covered being more than 51,000 kilometers. Towards the end of the trip, Nicholas landed at the Japanese city of Nagasaki, accompanied by his cousin, Prince George of Greece and Denmark. A few days later, during an important gathering presided over by Prince Arasugawa Taruhito, Nicholas asked his Japanese host to introduce him to some nearby tattoo artists. The Russian squadron's flagship was loaded the next day with two Nagasaki masters, and the heir wrote the following entry in his logbook the next morning. April 16th, Tuesday. I woke up to a beautiful day. The shore was beckoning. The streets and houses in Nagasaki make a wonderfully pleasant impression. Everything is perfectly cleaned and looks tidy. It is a pleasure to enter their houses, and the Japanese and Japanese women themselves are such cordial and friendly people. We returned to my frigate at 5 o'clock for tea. After dinner, I decided to have a tattoo of a dragon on my right arm, which took exactly 7 hours, from 9pm to 4am to complete. It is enough to go through this kind of pleasure once to discourage me from embarking on it again. The dragon turned out quite well, and my hand did not hurt at all. Alongside this, there are several images that unmistakably prove Nicholas II had a dragon tattoo on his right forearm. Nicholas's tattoo evidently curves upward from the forearm's lower portion to the elbow. In addition to having spikes sprouting from its backbone, the dragon is shown as having horns, a menacing scowl, a lengthy moustache, and other features. It is unknown with certainty why the monarch chose to get a tattoo. However, it is thought that Albert Victor, Duke of Clarence and Avondale, who received a comparable tattoo in Japan in the late 1870s, served as Nicholas's inspiration. There are of course other explanations as to why Nicholas chose to get a dragon tattoo. Some people think that the dragon stands for strength, power, and knowledge. If this hypothesis is correct, the dragon would be viewed as a representation of Nicholas's strength and would be thought to offer its owner its protective symbolism. Another version holds that since the future emperor was born in 1868, the year of the dragon according to the Chinese zodiac calendar, the dragon was a logical zodiac option for him to get tattooed. Ironically, the tattoo was not the only mark Nicholas got on his body when he left Japan for Russia. On May 11, 1891, during his visit to the Japanese city of Otsu, one of the escorting Japanese policemen, Suda Sanzo, attempted to kill the Russian heir. Although the attack was unsuccessful as the attack was blocked by Prince George of Greece, a cousin of Nicholas, Sanzo's sword left Nicholas with a 9cm long scar on the right side of his forehead.
But of course, Nicholas wasn't the only European royalty to be inked. By the middle of the 19th century, the young European and British elites were sporting tattoos as a fashion statement. Prince Edward, who would become the future King Edward VII, sometimes known as the Uncle of Europe, was the first British monarch to be inked. He got a tattoo of a Jerusalem cross on his breast when he was still an heir. Alongside this, his sons George, the future King George V, and Albert Victor both had tattoos from Japan, following in the footsteps of their father, but of course it is highly debated as to what the tattoos were. This has been made Jack, and if you're a Russian Tsar, or any other European royalty, please get a dragon tattoo, that shit is fucking badass.